can use the note. We've got that bowl again. Yep. Ends. Got five batteries, 43 volts. And here I've got some bits of the old LG TV in country council. Maybe I'll have a go in, but uh, the main thing is I'm going to see what this bowl can tolerate up to. And we've now got a maximum of 43 volts, so I know to be honest. I'm not going to push it any more than 43 volts because I don't think it would take it. So I'm going to, uh, I'm putting it inside that so that to shield the light from the window a little bit so it's not so big in the window in case everybody thinks the place is going to find us. some of the old pictures that live around here are a bit funny that way. Uh, so the bulb is sitting there. It's a 12 volt AC, 20 watt housing uh, bulb for a low voltage desk lamps. So low voltage 12 volt leaf and it's usually what's her main, her main transformer. Right, but we're no Amazon box on the side of a chopping board. Yeah, we'll turn that around a bit so we're not advertising the company. Yeah, it's, a, it's a, quite a world famous company anyway. That, and so, uh, cookers well cooled down from uh, cooking the tea time. So uh, we're going to leave you there. And uh, I'm going to walk with the batteries at a safe distance because uh, this thing may pop. It may just, you may, I may just pop the coil, uh, the filament coil, but I may pop, the bulb may shatter all together. So that also shields me from the bulb. Okay. Wind up the five batteries there. So here's another thing I'm doing. We're getting near the camera and it's on the iframe mode, so we're going to actually use the record setup so we can. use the normal AVC HD mode, the same as the Sony camera that I'm filming with just now. Because well. uh, uh, HS1920 on the Panasonic and that causes less problems. So I can give you alternative camera views, right? What do we got on the turn of the camera view? So, I'm going to use that little box with all the caps in it and set the camera over here. You can set the camera on the bench. I'm going to press the code and so I'm going to record on the two cameras now. It's going to light five times. The bulb that you're going to see is going to light five times. Then I'm going to test the that it's got 9 volt DC from each of the individual batteries. As such, I'm going to do a test. Make sure that it's lighting up as well. Battery 1. Battery 2. Battery 3. E battery 4. And you battery five. All the other nine volts that it couldn't. Now a little bit of personal privacy. And yeah. Got a little bit of that. So uh, that's, that's the first bit there, right? Right, before we start the camera, we're going to tape this on the side here so it's coming out. I forgot to freaking address on it. Right. Going camera to the camera. Right, we're going to see that about in the back here. Yeah, and uh, let's connect two batteries and see this. 18 volts direct currents. The rest is going to be bright, so mind your eyes. It's handling 18 volts, man. Mm. I don't know about it, it's the same. Twenty-seven volts DC. What? As we had the last time with the spark from the battery, there. 
the previous holes when I was here last time. 27 volts DC. Now we're going to go even higher. Now we're going up to 36 volts DC. With daisy chain and the batteries together. We're now going up to 36 volts DC. We don't know where this ball's going to take it, so uh, stand by. This is why I'm keeping well out of the way. 36 volts DC. A few seconds of 36 volt DC is handling it. It's also handling 36 volts. It's mighty bloody hot, but it's handling 36 volts DC. Let's add the, uh, the batteries are okay just now. Let's add the fifth battery. 43 volts DC. It will probably pop. Yep, it's a gonna. This died. 43 volts and it's gone. And there's a smell from the bulb as well. I'm going to separate the batteries as usually as advisable. Then. So it damaged in the batteries considerably. The bulb has popped. I better not start screaming that I popped it because that's a, that's a boombox that works in the original. Uh, but, uh, so, uh, yeah, here's the camera, right. Switch off the uh, other camera. No, but this camera we can see, we can now see. Right, right. The carnage. Little filament coil on there. Has completely sheared. It's mighty hot, but it's, it is extremely hot. It was handling 36 volts at a little bit there, but uh, 43 volts it just could not take. Forty three volts I just could not take. Yeah, you can see the queen breaking there. Yeah. Little filament coil has totally completely blown its tiny mints. And that one is a gunner. It managed to survive a burst of uh, thirty six volts but forty three volts it just won't take. So uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. Right, we're going to see the batteries to the back here. And, uh, let's connect two batteries and see this. 18 volts direct currents. Now this is going to be bright, so mind your eyes. It's handling 18 volts man. Mm. I don't know about that, it's the same. Twenty-seven volts DC. What? As we had the last time with the spark from the battery there. Then that's the previous holes I went into the last time. Twenty-seven volts DC. Now we're going to go even higher. Now we're going up to 36 volts DC with daisy chain and the batteries together. We're now going up to 36 volts DC. We don't know where this ball's going to take it, so uh, stand by. This is why I'm keeping well out of the way. 36 volts DC. Good few seconds of 36 volts DC is handling it. It's also handling 36 volts. It's mighty bloody hot. But it's handling 36 volts DC. Let's add the, uh, 
the batteries are okay just now. This had the fifth battery. 43 volts DC. It'll probably pop. Yep. It's a gone armor. There's died 43 volts and it's gone. And there's a smell from the bulb as well. I'm going to separate the batteries as usual. That's advisable. Huh? The bulb has popped. Mm. I better know it's that it starts skewing that I popped it because that's how it that's a boom box that works in the original so uh, yeah here's the camera, that's right. Switch off the uh, other camera.